Welcome back. I'm Michael with Bluefin Electric Marine, standing in front of our beautiful Tolly craft. Let me bring you up to speed. It's sunny, it's gorgeous, and we've waxed the hull. We spent a couple of days putting four coats of wax on the hull, bringing it back to its original luster. It looks fantastic. And then we scraped the bottom right down. 40 years of bottom paint were stuck to the bottom of here, and we took it all off, scraped it right down to the fiberglass, sanded it. We're going to put epoxy sealant on it, then put a new bottom paint so it'll be smooth, sleek, and fast. Very little resistance for our electric motors. Come on, show you. Uh, let me show you what else we've done. Underneath here, we've scraped it all off, all the old bottom paint. We've even removed some hardware that we don't need anymore. This is a water intake for the gas motor that was in there. All these uh, extra parts that were hanging off the bottom of the hull are no longer necessary, so we've glassed over them. The only thing we've got sticking out of the hull is what the original running gear was. The strut that the prop shaft goes through, the propeller and the rudder are all exactly what came with the boat. We attach those to our electric motors inside. Let me show you inside the electric motor cockpit. All right, Michael back. Here we are in the electric motor room. Bluefin 2's motor room. Picture this. There were two huge V8 motors here that drove the shafts and propellers that were on this boat. This V8 motor was about 800 pounds and it had water intakes and oil pumps and fuel pumps. It had a 125 gallon gas tank down the side of the boat. There was another one down this side of the boat and another big V8 motor. So I had twin V8s, four barrel carburetors that ran this boat. So imagine 40 years of that and the oil that spewed out and grease and whatever that was in here was awful. It was covered with a black soot grease that we had to degrease. It took us days to get all the grease out of the inside of this bilge. And then we proceeded to grind it all down and take all of the wires and all of the electronics that ran all of the motors and all of the pipes and hoses out of the bilge because we don't need them anymore. This boat's going to be simple. Here it is here, our electric 9 kilowatt motor. There's going to be two wires that come off here, go to the control box, and then two wires that go from the control box to the battery bank, and then another wire that goes up to a throttle. That's as complicated as it gets. There's no water or fuel pumps or oil pumps or things like that to run this motor. Just breathes smoothly right here, doesn't make a lot of noise. This shaft is attached to the shaft that is already on the boat with the propeller on it and it drives the uh, shaft at the exact same speeds that we used to get with the big V8 motors. You can see some of the pictures on Facebook of what it looked like inside here when the motors were in here and all the grease was in here. It's come a long way. Behind me we're going to set up the wall with all the electronics the control boxes, the battery chargers, the battery monitors, the switches will all be set up right behind me. It'll be a clean, electric, no fuel burning machine. Thanks for coming out.